Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is episode 27 of How to Survive EVE Online. In this episode, we're going to take on the next step of the military chain. Go to Neocom, Journal, uh, Agents, Missions, Cash Flow for Capsuleers, 5 of 10, right click, Start Conversation. And let's close the journal. Uh, and apparently, there is a pirate that wants to meet with you, and your agent is telling you to be careful. And. Uh, let's just click the accept button, and the game will talk to you about, will give you text to read about damage types. And let's close, and do I still have my weapons and such ready? Yes, I do. Everything's fully loaded. Good. And I have extra ammunition. Not that I think I'm going to need 2,000 rounds for it, but I'm ready. Let's undock. Now, since the text the game tried to throw at you tried to talk about damage types, I'm going to talk about damage types. Not all kinds of damage are created equal. In EVE Online, there are four kinds of damage. Electromagnetic, hold on, right click, cash flow, encounter, warp to location within zero meters. Let's open the fitting window again. There are four kinds of damage. Electromagnetic, thermal, Kinetic and explosive. And your ship has different sorts of resistances to these different kinds of damage. For example, right now, my shields are at full, so if somebody shoots at me, the shields will take damage. If they're using a EM damage at me, then for every 100 EM they throw at me, my shields go down by 100 points. However, my, if they throw 100 points of explosive at my shields, then for every 100 explosive they throw at me, my shields go down only by 50 points. And let's close the fitting window. And the NPC that you meet is going to talk to you. Well, rather, throw text at you. Nothing has talked to you since Aura. What a shame. But anyway... Uh, you can take your time to read it. The NPC is not going to open fire at you. Yet. And we'll wait for you to do something hostile first. Once you've finished reading... Basically, it's a job offer, but it's not something you could actually act on. Uh, for those who want to be pirates, it is possible to go out into null security space and actually run missions for the pirates. Or to just go running around low in null security space, uh, destroying other players' ships, and taking their stuff. Those are considered legitimate activities in EVE Online. Which, by the way, is why low and null security are dangerous. So, let's get this mission over with. Control left click the NPC, and his angular velocity is a uh, just. It's only 0 0.081 radians per second. Our weapon can track 0.137 or something. So, let's approach and open fire. I'm going to try and use a reverse kiting strategy and try to make him go directly away from me, which brings the angular velocity to zero. Uh, there is a danger with the reverse kiting method. Actually, a couple of dangers with the first kiting method. First of all, if it doesn't work, uh, then you're going to wind up increasing the angular velocity a lot more than your railguns can keep up with. But even if it does work, not only does it put the enemy within your tracking speed and optimal, it puts you within the enemy's tracking speed and optimal. If either side of this conflict is a missile user, then the missile user does not care about angular velocity. Uh, right click the wreck, bookmark location, OK, left click the station, dock, Warp drive I'm going to reload my weapon. And you know what? I'm going to keep this episode short. You know how to return to a station and dock. You know how to find a mission in your journal. You know how, once you are docked, you know how to right-click the mission and start conversation and how to turn in a mission. So I'm going to stop right here in the next episode. We are going to cover the next step of the military chain. While I'm waiting for this video to process, I'm going to go back to my bookmark and salvage that wreck. In the meantime, thank you for watching.